Hi, this video is about fixing a digital piano where the key does not work. Um, earlier, my daughter and I had fixed this piano using the pencil technique where you draw in on the contact with a pencil. And that did work, um, but it tends to not work over time. Um, and this time we're gonna try to use a technique where we, we use a um, what's called a circuit scribe pen. And it's basically something that um, you can buy off Amazon for seven or eight dollars and it will draw in the circuit. It should work a lot better. Um, and I have, a, I'll have a link to the pen uh, below this video. So this is what the circuit scribe pen looks like. Again, it's a seven or eight dollar purchase. There's a link at the bottom to click, click on it. Um, it contains, unlike a regular pen, it contains a metallic fluid. Um, it looks like silver. And so when you draw, and then let it dry, that will be a superior um, contact trace than what you can do with a pencil. So this is the back of the Williams Allegro II digital piano. And as you'll see, there are a lot of Phillips screws in the back. Um, so probably the most time consuming part of fixing this piano is undoing all these screws. There are a lot of deep screws that you'll have to spend some time undoing all around the edges of the digital piano um, and as well towards the back there are a number of shallow Phillips screws that you will want to take out. Um, the only screws that you really don't have to take out are the if you flip it over the front of the keys there's a row of shallow Phillips screws here you can leave those in um, but you'll spend most of your time taking apart taking apart the piano by just unscrewing from all of these deep screw holes and then the back row of shallow Phillips screws. So we have unhooked the screws on the back of the digital piano um, as described in the previous clip. And uh, you can now see this is what it looks like. Um, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the key that, um, that we marked with the tape. Um, that's one thing I forgot to mention that you'll actually want to um, use a piece of tape to mark which key is not working, and that way you'll know which ones to fix. In order to get the piano key off, there's a pink tab in the back, and you'll want to use a screwdriver to press against the tab, and then the key should pop off. and um, to put it back will just be in reverse. <laughs> so to, uh, you will see underneath the key, there is this rubber and what has worn out is underneath the rubber, the contact is worn out. So um, by lifting it up, that is where we'll actually be tracing. Okay. So, um, this is a little tricky, but we took out a key so that it's easier to get to this contact. Uh, I am using the a screwdriver to hold up the rubber, and I'm having another person actually use the circuit scribe, which you can start to see now that silver coming out, uh, which is really great. So I have um, inserted the keys back. One thing to keep in mind when you first put the silver down you'll reapply that rubber tab and um, you might have to click on it a bunch of times with your finger or a screwdriver head just so that the uh, the silver metallic liquid sort of gets around and if you don't hear it open up that rub rubber tab again and draw some more um, it's the exact same technique you would use with the pencil put it back down uh, turn on the power until you start to hear a noise uh, if you tend to hit it a bunch of times, um, it, it sort of gets that contact liquid spread out a little bit. Um, and, uh, and now we can show the same key uh, making noise. Whereas before it didn't. When we had done this with the pencil, it was very faint and this is noticeably louder. 